The XL2411 P is the most classic model in its range from Zowie and it's also the entry level for the 144Hz monitor for eSports gaming. So classic means it's a successor from the version or the older model which was 120 hertz and now has moved on to 144 hertz as an entry level and that's why it's a classic monitor. Where other all brands may use the same panels, BenQ works with Zari Gear Team and basically this is obviously back in 2010. It means that they were working on making professional monitors rather than just making monitors just to actually play games, they made monitors for professional game players. In 2010, most CS players were using CRT monitors and they refused to use LCD monitors. But Zowie incorporated or designed or manufactured or something with the monitors that they were using in 2010, which had upscaling and display smart scaling. So basically it scales to a certain aspect ratio, which feels comfortable on the eyes when they're gaming. So, good for you Zoe, that's good, that's good. Having these sort of features, which is display mode and smart scaling, you can have an aspect ratio of 5.4, or you could have 4.3 at 800 to 600 resolution, or you could have 1060, or 1024 by 768 resolution, which is perfect back then because we didn't really have proper high definition, or did we have high definition in 2010? Leave your comments down below, and let me know. Zawi claims that they had everything under 120 hertz back then and they knew about the visual feeling and technically they wanted to become the one that is more professional with getting esports stuff out there because it makes sense to have something visually compatible with your eyes without straining to make sure that you could be more competitive in the esports world of what we're talking about today. So, meaning 120 hertz was back then. Now we've got XL 2411P, which is 144 hertz as an entry level for all people that want to game on less lag, great resolution, and great color vibrance. As well as like if you're shooting and spraying, you've got the sort of control with the blurriness and stuff like that, which we'll cover later. So we fine-tuned color their monitors so everything was perfect for the visual effects of when you're playing the game, especially in CS. And because so many esports players really liked it, then Zowie kept with the same sort of panel or the same sort of functionality and then added two, like, well, more than two things, obviously. They added more ports and they also added the, the color vibrance they added the black equalizer and other functions as well. So that means that the player will always get the best functionality and feel the most comfort when actually gaming in competitive esports gaming. BenQ Zowie is most adopted with obviously competitive game players who want the best. And this is why BenQ Zowie obviously listen to those sort of people and customize their monitors or leave a load of functions or features built into the monitors that every eSporters, eSporters, yeah, that could be a new one, eSporters dream that can actually play to their competitive level but with comfort as well. Put it this way, when it comes to PUBG, or if you want to have a look and find out what the eSports people are using, you could just check on many like eSports gaming videos and stuff and you'll notice that BenQ Zowie comes up quite a lot because the actual organizers trust them because it don't have lags, it don't have black uh, dead spots or anything like that in their screens. They're always ready to go and that's the way it is. So even if we talk about the old school days, most of them are still going to be using the older panels of what BenQ Zowie or Zowie done before they merged together than what they've done today. This is why their main focus is talking about entry levels of 144 hertz of the XL 2411P which has got a plethora of functions and features which is perfect for the gamer entry level or even esports because esports is what they need and if you want to play at that sort of level then you need a monitor like that where you don't miss a shot for first person shoot em ups. 
Most competitive esports gamers still got in their arsenal the XL 2410 and the XL 2411 without the P, because the P is what about this video is with this new monitor of 2018 or 2017. It's 2017, 2018. I'll have to check that out. Right, first off, we're gonna go into display settings on the screen. So once you've got this screen set up, you go right click on the screen, go to display settings, so we left click, make sure it's at 100% recommended. If not, you'll find a drop down menu, which will be 100%. And then also find out to make sure it's on 1920 by 1080, as this is a 1920 by 1080 resolution screen. Then go to advanced display settings, click into that, and then you'll see 1920 by 1080 and obviously the graphics card I'm using is GTX 970 on this one, um, computer. And I just, I'm on 60 hertz at the moment, so I click into display properties for display one. This is obviously Windows 10 that I'm using as well as an operating system. Go into monitor and then click all the way down to 144 hertz and then click apply. Then keep changes, then okay. Now we're ready to obviously test out the screen at 144 hertz this video is sponsored by blur creative check out them down below in the link in the description and you can find out about graphic design logo design balance for youtube if you want to make it on youtube and all that sort of stuff and also websites and anything like that check them out in the link in the description down below so as you can see black equalizer is off at the moment so i can turn it up without affecting the game As you can see, black equalizer is off and I can turn it right up to 20 and it does not affect any more saturation, contrast or gamma of the actual gaming experience that I'm having at the moment. So that means that you'll be able to see your enemies a lot more cleaner and a lot more clearer by giving you the edge just with this monitor. Very simple, very quick and does not affect the display at all. Next, um, bit of menu on here is obviously I've got it on photo mode actually I should change it to gamer one let's change to gamer one so gamer one this is what the setting set to already so I'll go into black equalizer I turn that off as you can see it's a lot more darker more um, cinematic and then I'll turn it up and as you can see it doesn't affect the game it's still in the same way so this is what it's like when it's off, and this is what it's like when it's up full blast. So I'm gonna go back into the main menu, I should go into. So we can go down to, we're gonna to go to AMA settings, if we can find it. I'm sure it's on this one now. And very sure. Right, so this is a standard. Normally you've got AMA, which is on. So, if I turn, a, I'm gonna turn AMA off for a second. I don't know what it looks like on the screen at the moment. Hopefully it still looks very good. So on this model, the XL2411P, we have a setting called the AMA. And this feature features liquid screen quality. So basically it makes it feel so smooth and clean, but there's a trade-off. And it normally, straight out of the box, this is set to premium and you've got high and then you've got off. So with Zoe, the trade-off is some uh, premium users may notice some abdominal noise under general PC content, so they have set it onto higher as a conservative setting as to avoid too many user bad impressions, but actually the premium most players can feel the benefit and didn't notice any side effects. But as the XL2411P is an eSports monitor, or entry level eSports monitor, 
it is very highly adjustable and adaptable for esports players or even players that are just starting out in the gaming world. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the story on the background of Zowie before they come Zowie or BenQ or BenQ Zowie um, and how CSGO used to use a lot of their monitors in eSports. So I just thought I'd explain it a little bit more in depth about these monitors rather than just showing you the features and where it comes from and how it adapted and how it could be obviously changed for the future would be nice. Don't really know what the other features would be but if you've got any other features that you really want to expect on an eSports gaming monitor leave it in the comments down below. Also Amazon link description down below so you can definitely go and purchase the XL2011 no, the XL2411P 24 monitor and uh, get on with your gaming and smash people in the competitive world. Anyway, hope you liked this video. Subscribe, like, share and see you on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and all that sort of stuff. Just follow me on there or like whatever. I'll like you back. Not like you, but I'll obviously follow you back if I see that you're following me on Twitter because I don't really use Twitter that much so I'll just start using it now. And thanks for watching.